go in. That is the and it's abused. <laughs> I'm doing it. So I've got the, um, let's take a little. Now then crew, and welcome back to the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel, and Tool Girl Hannah is back with me yet again. She just can't keep away, to be Hi honest. Guys. <laughs> yeah, the wife's getting quite upset at the moment that you keep rocking up. Oh really? Mm, she's, oh, she's got nothing to worry about. I think about. there's a bit of jealousy going on, actually. Oh, please. Yeah, I reckon. No, seriously, there is, oh, okay. definitely. Yeah, yeah, she's always a little bit off when there's Tool Girls around, but hey, oh. understandable, to be honest. And, you know, just to clear the air, gentlemen and ladies out there, it's just tool girl it's, yeah. there's nothing else going on so don't think there is Just, <laughs> are you joking? no seriously <laughs> no i'm joking <laughs> and just just for the reference hannah is single at the moment so there you go crew she's all yours <laughs> <laughs> I'm, way, I'm way too busy Thanks, anyway <laughs> <laughs> terrible right uh, so going back to the subject of this particular video and it's it's not about trying to set hannah up with a, a date at all <laughs> Um, basically, I was given a, uh, a, a fan motor, you know, the blower motor of the inside of the car that blows the warm air around the car, mm -hmm. helps to demist the windscreen and stuff. Oh, yeah. uh, a friend of mine at work uh, said, look, it stopped working, can you take a look at it? So, I said, yeah, you know, being, being, being the mechanic within work now, uh, word gets around and they're like, oh, Andy can fix anything, give it to him. So here we are, and I, I took the, the backing plate off the motor where the brushes are and Basically, the brushes inside the motor are completely disintegrated and just worn away, as brushes do over a long period of time. And this, this is uh, this is off a pretty old Toyota Surf four-wheel drive. I'd say probably around early 90s. Uh, it's you know, 25, 27 years. This this mm. motor has been whizzing around, so yeah. it's understandable it's worn out. Yeah. You, know, it's, you can't blame the component. And back then. This, this kind of component was really well made. You, you buy a modern car and everything's made to a price and things don't last anywhere near as long as they used to do. But we have a couple of issues and I did do a video uh, a long time ago actually on uh, reconditioning a starter motor. And on that uh, we covered fitting new brushes and um, also cleaning up the commutator. Now the commutator part is these little segments on the uh, on the shaft here this is what basically where the brushes connect to and transfer current into the windings on the rotor that basically allows the motor to work heading to the plane <laughs> yeah it could be a plane actually yeah because the chopper would be a do -do 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 -do. there's an airport well no, an airstrip just down the road at silverdale so oh, okay. they do tend to buzz the property every now and again um, so, if you look on there very closely, you can see that that commutator is pretty badly worn and you know, it's quite dark. The, the copper's got pretty eroded away and we need, to, we need to clean that up. Now, the brush pack, or the brush holders, this bit here, uh, the brushes have gone, so I can't show you the old brushes. I managed to, to find the springs that tension the brushes, which are here, look. One of them is fully intact and the other one, well... It must have shorted out a little bit because this one's part of it's missing. It's a bit shorter, but I'm hoping it'll still do the trick because you just can't buy those bits anymore. Not, not around here. Um, so we've got that to reinstall with the new brushes. And I went to a place in Albany to get new brushes. And that place is this company here. Look, now, normally I fully endorse these places. But let me explain to you why I'm not really endorsing this one. These are the brushes. Okay, they are insignificantly nothing and they used to cost only a few dollars to buy brushes right real cheap this guy charged me this gentleman here I forget his, forget his first name doesn't have his name on there mr. sales that'll do um, he charged me $94 including GST for what? two poxy little brushes mm. now fortunately on this occasion it's not me paying for things but I actually feel pretty pretty bad when I go. You know, I will feel pretty bad when I go back to the guy at work and say, "Okay, mate, there's your your motor. F 
fixed, your blower fixed, and it's $94 just for the parts. Because I'm not going to get anything out of this. This is just, you know, one of those sort of do you make a favour kind of thing. Um, but even so, he could probably gone to a wreckers and bought a second hand blower unit for half that money. Oh dear. Yeah, so pretty bad. But hey, you know, if you buy a second hand one, then the brushes on that one might be almost worn out as well, so it may not last very long. So at least this time around, we're going to fix it once, fix it right, and it'll last the rest of the life of the vehicle. And he won't have any more problems, and he'll be able to see where he's going on a wet day. So where do we start? Well, the first job is to remove the armature from the motor, and we're going to chuck it in the lathe, and hopefully there's enough material left to machine down, because I've, I've got to clean that up. So I'll gingerly clean it up. It may not be um, perfect because like I say there's not much material left on that commutator. Uh, the groove that's been worn down by the brushes is pretty deep to be honest and if I overcook it on the lathe then the whole thing is junk. Right, so the first job Hannah, is yeah. to remove that nut and get the actual fan part off and hopefully then we can remove the armature. Okay. Alright, yep. here we go. Have All yours. Oh gosh, look at that. Right, so that nut size, what, do you, what size do you reckon that is? Oh, um, I wouldn't know, Andy, I'm pretty sure you said an eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I reckon it's an eight. Do okay. you reckon? I reckon it is, so God, you give, give that a go, and I'm going oh. to hold this for you. Okay, okay. And yes. you want to be going that way. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Mm. Oh, you got it, yeah. you got it, excellent. Can I just you can, right? yeah, do that. Should be able to. They usually are quite tight on the threads because they, they don't want to go undone. Yeah. Okay. Really good. Oh! Whee! I caught it. It's yeah. under there somewhere. Look. Yeah, there it is. All right, now hopefully it's not going to be too hard to get the actual motor, the actual um, the fan bit off. The shaft. Mm -hmm. Don't really want to go hammering stuff. If I can help it. See, it's pretty old though. So it's... there yes, we are. Look at really that. Mm -hmm. nice. Do you reckon I've done that before? I think so. Right. Okay. okay. So we've got a washer. Must remember that has to okay. go back on as well sure. before the fan. Okay. Now, hopefully, we should now be able to pull that out. Come on, magnets. There we go. Done. Okay. Jeez, I'm going to give that a clean up. Oh, mm, that. That's all the old brushes in there. Look, you see all the all the residue that's built up inside that motor. So a bit of brake cleanup. Do that. We'll do that later mm -hmm. on. Okay. So this is where Andy gets really good. Yeah. In Should be wearing gloves really. So armature, and we've got the commutator just down here. Look, you can see how badly scored that is. It should be nice and smooth. If you put your nail across there, you'll feel how mm. just how bad it is. Yeah. So we're going to chuck that in the lathe, and gingerly clean that area up there. Once that's done, we can stick it back in the housing and fit the brushes. Okay. And then we've got to test it. Oh. Should be fun? Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, Hannah, you grab that. Thank you. Uh, I'll see you over by the lathe, okay? Okay, sure. So what we need to do mm -hmm. is pop this in the chuck on the lathe. Yes, we can choose. Set the tool up. You bet you've never used a lathe before, have you? No, I haven't. Should work. Now, because you're not really PPE equipped for lathing, mm -hmm. you've got to keep your hair well out of the way. And yeah. I'll, I'll let you watch what I'm doing. Yeah. Basically, I'm going to run that across the back there like, just to okay. gingerly clean it up. Oh, yeah. We need some eye protection first. Yeah, you can wear those. Yeah. They're all ladylike. Awesome. Yeah. Flash yeah, tang tools. <laughs> okay. Right, power on. Okay, it's not quite central. Let's see if we can get it centralized a bit better. Pretty 
close. Going on? Oh, yeah. It's nice and shiny. Oh, nice. Really, really ginger about how to take off. Okay. The bit I'm taking off at the moment is where the brushes don't run, that's why it's got more material. Two days once machining up some parts for a guy. Just stood in front of a lake for two or three days. Yeah, good boy. Alright, just finish this sweep and then we'll have a little look. Center, you see there, look. Oh, yeah. We've got some cleaning up to do because we've got okay. the copper just goes down the, these little grooves mm -hmm. sometimes, and that's bad. You've got to clean that out oh, before yeah. you can use it. But we're not far off. Problem is, I don't know how much material we've got to dig down. Mm. Mm. We're, yeah, we're a bit off center, but uh, maybe we'll just give it a go with some emery cloth now. Just use some sandpaper for the last little bit because I just okay. I don't risk going too deep. Yeah. So we'll give it a go. I'll find some sandpaper. This is where you lose fingers now. You may not get it 100%, but it'll be a lot better than it was. I learned to use the lathe when I was 13 years old. Oh, wow. nice. uh, the guy who taught me was a chap called Baz. Baz. Baz, yeah, Mad Baz, we called him. He's passed away now, unfortunately, but I had a lot of fun with that guy. He, uh, a lot of cool things. Yeah. That'd be as good as we're going to get, I think. Right, while it's in the lathe, I'll just put a scriber down those, mm -hmm. those little grooves there just to clear out the clear out the copper while it's being held. Okay. Different kind of video with the tool girl doing this, isn't it? Yeah. It's what comes in. So that should. That's how we've gone beyond the mica. I think we have. I think we've killed it. I think we have. Okay. I think we need a little hacksaw blade. Maybe. Maybe it just didn't want to be fixed. Mm. These well, that's pretty old, isn't it? Yeah. Could take some time, people. Do one, see how well it goes. You see what I'm trying to, mm. trying to achieve with my enormous size hacksaw blade. <laughs> there we go. So there's just about another 12 of those to go. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic fun. Okay, well I'll finish those off off camera. Yeah. You got the idea. And uh, let's go and sold, uh, solder in those new brushes. Okay. Cool. Jeez, that poor little armature is not looking very good, is it? I hope it's going to work. Yeah, not good. No. Not good at all. Anyway, we're going to move on to the brushes, and I'm going to go back and sort that out. Um, so we've got the little brush connector here. 
and we've got the brushes in the bag and we're going to have to solder on what we call the tail of the brush all technical terms isn't it and I'm by no means an electric motor specialist at all but I do usually bumble my way through so we've got the new brush there look and these were as you know very expensive so I'll drop it on the bench and we've got to solder that tail onto the actual brass arm and they're different lengths because the things offset to the brush holder but uh, I think what we'll do is because we'll actually just solder them onto the existing wire we'll cut that one down a bit and we'll solder them onto those fingers crossed it's going to work you any good at soldering? I've um, never done it oh, solder virgin excellent <laughs> my favourite <laughs> right tool girl Hannah yes soldering soldering involves a very hot soldering iron Looking at your midriff. <laughs> not a lot of PPE going on, so we'll be extra super careful not to burn that no, please beautiful don't. Adam, ab, ab, abdomen. <laughs> please don't. No, don't want that. So, super careful with this. Yeah. Um, I'll solder the first one and then we'll see if Hannah can pick up how to do some soldering. Okay. It's not the easiest job, to be perfectly honest, to learn with, but um, hey, what the hell? Didn't live once. Right. Okay, we'll give that a few minutes to warm up, okay. and then we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Brush. Bit of solder. Wonderful. Side cutters. Alright, so we'll just, uh, just trim that one down a bit. I'm really tempted to put some kind of insulation on there as well, but it doesn't have any there, so... Why not? Why bother? Right, so just while we're waiting for the old soldier knife to warm up, just to show you, Hannah, that that fits, that's the brush, mm -hmm. and it fits into the holder, like that. Nice. And there's a little spring that sits behind it, and that keeps it pushed against that commutator okay. on, the, on the armature. Yeah. So we need to make sure we, we solder these on the correct way now. So if we just get the motor here, the actual casing, that sits in there like that. Yeah. And then that piece, I put a little arrow on it, that sits there like that. So okay. yes, that one goes to that one there. Because it's so easy to wire these these these, oh, these things up wrong, you know. And you go, oh, do it over again. Yeah. Not cool. No, not cool at all. Right, I'm just going to put some solder on these first. Rest it on there, can't we? Right, we should have warmed up by now. Hopefully. There we go. So you always put a little bit of solder on the tip, and that mm -hmm. helps the heat to transfer across to whatever you're soldering. Now, I am not, by any means, a very good solder, so you've got to bear with me. I'm good at welding, but I believe soldering is a completely different art. I like the smell, though. <laughs> yes, smell, it smells good. Yeah. There we go. Cool. That's that one. So I'm just putting a bit of solder on now, and then when we come to solder the brushes on, there's a bit, there's a bit already on, okay. it's a bit easier, there we go, you've got to get it hot enough and then the solder flows down the wire, mm -hmm. okay. cool, plenty on there, get rid of that, right, okay, so brush number one, we can actually do it with the brush in the, in the holder, I think, we'll just hold it, hold it in place for us, so I'll just drop a bit more solder on that one, you know, when you have a go, you're going to do this so quickly, I'm going to be like, shit, no, don't know about that. Never ever done it, ever. So. Right, so that one has to go on there, right? Mm-hmm. Done. Nice. I reckon that'll work. Well done. Pretty good. Guess what? My turn. Sure is. <laughs> it's not easy. Okay. It's not easy being cheesy. You heard that one? That's, that was an old English phrase. Yeah. It was off a what's it, cheesy what's it's advert. Okay. It's not easy being cheesy. It's too easy. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of uh, crisp, and dry, uh, crisp and dry day Friday? No. No. Crisp and dry was um, cooking oil for doing chips. Oh, okay. So, yeah. All these weird and wonderful sort of English phrases going on. 
Right, so we'll get that out of the way for now. So all you're going to need to do mm -hmm. is get your soldering iron. Yep. And there's your solder. Oh, there's... That's right, don't matter. Okay. It's, it's any solder. Mm -hmm. And I'm... Um... Yep, so the first job is put a little bit on the, on the tip of the soldering iron. That's it. And then put your soldering iron underneath the wire. And then just pull up a little, gently a little bit. To try, you're trying to get the heat to go into the wire, you see. So you've got to hold it dead still. And maybe apply a bit more solder onto the iron. Onto the tip. That's it. And you'll see it warm up. There you are. You're getting it. Pretty good. Faster than me. I, don't know, I still have no idea what I'm That's it. You've done it. Finished. That's it. That's, uh, that's now sort of tinned, ready for connection to this. Now okay. I'm going to give you a hand because... So if you want to... You don't actually need any more solder. There should be enough there now. So mm -hmm. you've just got to hold, so got to... hold this. Yeah. Oh, I'll get rid of that solder there. Look, get rid of that. Don't need that anymore. It's just a bit of spatter. You've just got to hold that there with, mm -hmm. with one hand. And then... Joint fuse these together. Uh, yeah, overlap them though by about five mil. So, so a bit further. They are like that. Oh, yeah. And you've got to sort of... It's very delicate. Sort of keep them together. And once you see the solder flow between the two of them, you then got to hold them dead still, and you can blow on it if you can try not to move at the same time. Oh. Almost. So once you're ready, that's it. That's okay, pull pull your iron away and blow on it. And you'll feel it go hard. So it won't move anymore. Okay. Jeez, look at that! Bloody good for the first time. That's excellent. Oh. Excellent. Yeah, so we've got we've got full contact. Wow. Whew. Brushes are done. So we're just going to basically put the springs in behind the brushes, push the brushes back, and build the whole thing up. Okay. Easy as that. Oh yeah. <laughs> my teeth. Well, proof will be in the pudding. Not too bad, eh? I think it's a lot better than it used to be. Guess what? I've been busy in the lathe. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Oh, that looks amazing, Andy. It's pretty good, That's isn't tough. it? I'm yeah. actually quite, quite impressed with that look. It's come out really well. Awesome. Managed to get all those little grooves cleaned out and everything, and there seems to be just enough material left. So yeah, just I think we can go ahead and yeah. reassemble this motor now. Okay. I hope it's going to work. After all this effort. So I'll just give that a quick spray out with some brake cleaner, okay. and then we can reassemble it. I forgot all about that, actually. Right. Paper crap in there. Yeah, that's dirty. Oh, wow. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Look at that. Mm. It's like a new one. Almost. <laughs> right. It's all nice and clean inside there now. So it's time to pop in the armature and get it all bolted up. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. Golly gosh. Mm -hmm. So the first job, we'll get rid of those two for a minute. First job is going to be dropping that the armature back in now. The only problem with these is we've got fixed magnets around there. Mm. So when we pop it in, it tries to pull it either side. Okay. So if you want to, if you can, in fact, probably a couple of blocks of wood would be good actually. I'll just get two blocks of wood for this. They're a bit grubby. I've done a lot of work with these blocks of wood. Mm. Right, so we'll pop that down there. Easier said than done. Right. And now you can grab that um, the fan mm -hmm. blades. Yeah. Now we had a washer first, okay. remember? Oh, uh, put them in the little tray there, look. the magnetic tray that clamps itself to the bench. Oh, it does. Look at that. So it's the washer, washer on there first. Yep. 
that should go all the way down. Yep. Now I've got to hold that armature up. There we go, because we're going to be pushing down a bit in a minute, aren't we? Yeah, that way. Yep. I think that was, must be, because okay. it's the only washer that came off, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Right, so we'll pop that on there. We've got to line up the little flats. There we are, look at that. You can pop the nut back on. Okay. Yep. It's a flanged oh, nut. Right. Yeah, it's got like a washer built into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember what size it was? Mm, eight. Cool. You grab an eight mil spanner then, and I'll I'll try and hold everything while you give it a little tweak. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, there. Look right. on the bench. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it in the right way, and it's, yeah, we're doing That's it. Yep. Tight. I'll do. I think we're there now. Okay. So I'll flip it over. And you can see it pulls the armature across to one side because, because of the magnets. Mm -hmm. Because it's all magnetic yep. in there, so you can be a bit careful with that. Right. So now comes the tricky bit. I've got to install the brush pack. Now the brush pack fits that way up. I did mark it earlier on. Nice work. Well, I've been there before and I've, I've, I'm good at making mistakes, mm. so I try and cover all the bases. So that fits in there like that, okay. but, but with the brushes in place. So we've yep. got to... Um, this is this is the tricky bit. So we've got to. I'm going to need lots of fingers. So we're going to pop. Oh yeah. Pop that in nice. there. And you can pop that one in there if you like. That's it. And that's the longer one. That's the good one. That's the bad one. Mm. But hey, we don't have another one, so yeah. it is the way it is. And they go like that. And that goes like that. So that's the long brush. Or the long arm. So that needs to go. Stay in there until the middle spring. I'm very good at firing these across the workshop. And then I spend the rest of the weekend trying to find them. <laughs> right, can you hold that one in for us? Sure. Is that alright? Because you've got really little fingers and it's quite useful for that. Right, brush number two. Needs to go in there. Imagine how hard this is on your own. Mm. Almost impossible. Sorry, camera, you can't see a lot, but there you are, look. Right. Okay. Now we've got to pop it over the commutator. There we go. See if we can get a bit further down. So it wants to go about there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So it should go down. There we are. Do you notice that I had longer fingernails, you see, for just doing that, that mm. exact job? That's why mechanics don't cut our nails very often. Just for doing this job. Bloody hell. <laughs> right, and then that should sit in there. Okay. So just massage those bits down a bit because okay, we don't want those shorting out on the casting. Ah, mm. almost. Something else? Something yeah, else? there is. There's, all, there's more stuff yet. <laughs> That's not quite seating right there. I think that, that armature needs to go further down. Oh, there we are, look. Right, that works. That's better. See how they, they sit further down now on the oh, yeah. on the holder? Yeah, so it should be the end cap. Another bit. Oh, in the box. Oh, there like That's the one. So this has the bush at the back to hold everything together. Okay. Now, I didn't take this apart, so you've got to bear with me here while I work out which, which bit goes where. Because we've got a cut out there. Maybe not matter, actually. We'll see. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. Only one way to find out. Ah, there's some of your solder down there, look. See there. Jeez. Oh, goodness. Sabotaging my work. <laughs> okay, we'll get rid of that while we can. The virgin mistake. There we go. Got it. Right. Back in action. Sabotage fixed. Right. So, I think... Maybe that way around. It's a bit hard to tell because we've got two opposites, mm -hmm. but only one way to find out. Maybe. Hang on. The holes are a dead giveaway. It's either got to go yeah. like that. Yeah. That's not a very big gap. Of, uh, no, it's not, is it? I wonder if it fits. Oh, oh it fits in there. Mm -hmm. It fits in. Okay. All right, we're all good. So 
So I've just got to get the, the end of the shaft in there, you see, that's the critical part. There we go. I wonder how far off, you're going to hate me now, I've got to take it off again. <laughs> I wonder how far off those brushes are from touching the casing. You see, because we can't have that okay. touching, so maybe I'll try and just, try down. yeah, hop that down there a bit, because they, they are a little bit long actually, maybe we might have to shut, the, shut those down a bit. So if I just bend that one, there we go. Yeah, they don't give you a lot of room, do they? No. I tell you what, let's cheat. Let's chuck a little bit of heat, a little bit of heat shrink on it, just to shorten it down. You're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna like this. This is a real cheat. Okay. Andy Bodge. Right, hang on a second. All right, what have we got? Ooh, shiny stuff. That'll do, I reckon. Right, we'll just chop that in half. impressed are you? Mm -hmm. I impress all the tall girls. It's fun. <laughs> right, that should stop it from shorting out. Okay. Because they're a little bit long. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. That'll work, won't it? Okay. Yeah, if it touches the back, it's insulated. Yeah, good stuff. Whoa. That flies on me. Right, Hannah, can you have a go at feeding those two screws down for us? Okay. Okay, have a go at that, I'll try and line them up. Can you feel them going in? Okay. No, you're right. I've been stabbed many times, don't worry. Oh, you want a, you want a star? Try that one. It might be big enough. Now, we're in, we're in new territory now, because I didn't, like I said, I didn't take this thing apart, so. It's a whole new ball game to me. Cool. And you're good, aren't you? You just you do them up a little bit at a time, each one, and yep. bring it all parallel. <laughs> Some people are crank one right yeah, down and then do the other one. I'm learning. I'm learning. You are. You, it's, you're a natural. Thanks. Right. We'll give those a little tweak with a bigger screwdriver. And we better just check it free spins. Oh, look at that. Mm. So really all we need now, and it's a 12 volt fan motor. This one. Because it tells us on there, look, 12 volts. We'll stick it in the vise. We'll see if it's going to work. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Hopefully. Right. Let's do that. Okay. This is crap, by the way. It? It's missing a spring. Oh, it's one here as well. Yeah, it's a good one, that one. Stick that in there. Right. Where's the connector? There we are. Okay. I'm just going to whiz out and get my power supply. Okay. Back in a second. Thanks, Andy. Okay, okay great. Oh, See ya. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh, you slept me. The camera's on. Oh no. <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, I could probably clean up. <laughs> is that bad? That's probably pretty bad, isn't it? I could do anything I want, and here I am cleaning. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Got a 
keep the workshop clean, right? I think so anyway. I'm back. Cool, Andy, I was just cleaning up your workshop. Really? Yeah, throwing the tools away. I wasn't quite sure what to do while you were away, so... Oh, you found a job, well done. Yeah. That's great to be productive because <laughs> I'm, I'm the worst at keeping my tool. I worked up tidy to be honest. Right, I've got a power supply. Awesome. So that's the one that I use on the other videos. There we go, look. So we've got it plumbed in. Jeez, I'm actually quite nervous whether this thing's going to work or not, to be sure, honest. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Got more faith in it than I have. What faith in you, Andy? <laughs> You're a good tool girl. You really are. Okay. Right, so we use the red one for positive. Now I don't know which one's which, so we'll have to just play it by ear, but it'll work either way. It should do. Stick that on there. There's our ground. Stick that on there. Without touching the other one. Okay. okay, right. No voltage. Power on. Okay, you can do the honors. So if you turn that dial yep. clockwise, slowly, the motor should start to run. If you see loads of smoke, we have to stop. Okay. Twizzle it up and see what happens. Hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. You can't see any smoke anywhere? Mm, no. <laughs> I reckon it's done a pretty good job. Okay. Excellent. Fantastic. Yeah, stop it. Yeah, no, you go. Okay. I'm going to test the torque. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty of torque. That's good. Super. Awesome. Man, Mark is going to be mm. so happy. He'll be able to see out his windscreen now. Oh, yay. Fantastic. Excellent. Well done. Ah, well, well done to you too. I couldn't have done it on my own, you Thanks. know. Thanks. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, team effort. Had fun. Hey, listen, we did it. It's fixed. And I, and I didn't actually think. I wasn't holding out that much hope. But I did have $94 resting on, on this, because if I didn't fix it, I didn't have the heart to ask the guy for any money. It wouldn't have been fair, would it, really? Because Andy's supposed to know what he's doing. <laughs> but I fixed it, and I am really chuffed. So, yes, we've done it. We've fixed that blower motor for the, uh, for the surf. And uh, very, very happy, actually. I wasn't entirely sure how well it was going to go, because that commutator was pretty bad. Uh, and trying to clean out those grooves between each of the segments was that's a bit of a mission. I could have done with a smaller hacksaw blade, to be honest. You did so well, Andy. Yeah, well. I'm so proud of you. I like to impress. Yeah, you do. <laughs> cool. Well, if you enjoyed the video, and I, I, you know I've done it, Hannah's done it, so you guys can do it too. Absolutely. Um, if you enjoyed the video, then why not click on the subscribe button? You'll see a little uh, gear icon turn up. Tick on the uh, click the gear icon, and then you can tick the box, turn on notifications. And then our friends down at YouTube will send you an email as and when I upload any new videos. Right, so this is your bit now. Okay. You, you can oh, say all of it. Right, right. <laughs> okay, so, what do I say? <laughs> well, you'll find me on... Oh, you'll find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google, and Twitter. You will. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, first point of contact uh, through the YouTube comments, because, the, hey, that's where the videos are. Uh, you can then branch off and do your communication through any kind of other social media stuff that I'm on. That's fine. I don't mind at all. I can't guarantee I'll get back to every single question. Okay. There's so many now. I mean, I was actually answering questions, believe it or not, at 5.30 this morning. Did you get any sleep, Andy? No. Nah. <laughs> not really. Crikey. No, I didn't. Not really. But I've got more videos to edit now, but I, yes, such is life. And it's fun. I enjoy it. And, oh. and I, I know you guys really appreciate this. I know you do. So do I. Yeah. And of course the videos. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, crew. Well, until next time, it's over and out from me and goodbye from Tour Girl Hannah. Bye. See you, crew. Mm, over and out. <laughs> <laughs> Wife's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, no.